straight out of Narawahia, New Zealand, here's Mario. Hello, Mario Vlogs number 405. Go, go, go. Hello, hello, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, it's all go here, it's go, go, go. Test, test, test. So, I managed to get through today all right. Uh, got the quiz all published and what have you. Uh, got a wonderful day, beautiful day out crisp. Well, I would say winter day, except it's not winter, very crisp and cool but beautiful sky and warm in spots it was just awesome uh lots of good work done however um yeah i've still got one more test to write tonight for tomorrow and then we'll be uh out of the out of the woods so to speak and into the uh the next phase of things to get things done but anyway Let's have a let's have a look at the story of the snippets. Let's see what the snippets say. Yeah, g'day. Um, it's just gone two o'clock in the morning. I've just finished the uh, test for the maths and tidied up a few emails and things, and I'm going to go to bed. Um, I got a call from a student <laughs> around about uh, eleven o'clock. Um, asking for a meeting tomorrow about the test coming up on Wednesday <laughs> that I just <laughs> have still to write yet. So I've just had a quick look through that. I reckon I can knock that out. All right, but uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty busy, all right. So, uh, yep, yeah, so we're going to uh, head off to bed now, maybe get up around uh, 7 and head on in and see if we can get a few more things uh, sorted out. Oh, She's getting busy, all right. A good morning. Well, it's turned out to be a beautiful morning, as you can see. Um, I'm blowing a bit of smoke. It's pretty cold, um, but crisp and clear. Not a cloud in the sky. Sun's just coming up. The uh, councillor out mowing the lawns outside my place is a little bit of a park. Uh, behind me or a large area of road reserve that they mow so that's all being done so it's a bit noisy out and about to be honest but um, I'm sitting out here on my deck it's a like a hive of activity really um, myself I've um, come through the night and uh, yeah ready to go in and uh, get this uh, test all printed out and start working on the next one I've got a meeting with a student at 10 and then a practical in the afternoon with the GPS so just got to get everything loaded into the truck and off and away. I've um, started my truck up in the, well my little RAV4, started it up in the driveway and uh, turned the heaters on so that should uh, defrost all the ice off the windows and it'll be nice and toasty for the drive in so yeah quite looking forward to today actually and my uh, students should be able to complete their traversing assignments um, which I've extended out a little bit for them due to the weather and things so I'm hoping to get some uh, pretty good uh, results so that's um, yeah totally against um, what I said in yesterday's vlog with regards to fog and things it's as it's as crisp as an apple out here this morning. Um, ice on the windscreens and whatever, but it's going to be a cracking day, so you can put up a little bit of cold. And I've um, actually um, put a, a T-shirt on this morning, so that's a sign that uh, winter's uh, on its way. I'll probably be wearing a T-shirt uh, under my shirt most days. So, uh, yeah, that's how I... Uh, get ready and prepared for winter so let's uh let's see what happens a bit later on on the day <laughs> well good i'll just uh continue on with my cup of tea and then get on with my plants yeah cracking day out here in the field hardly uh 
cloud in the sky. Uh, there's a few out on the horizon. I think this is going to uh, this weather's going to last. Well, I hope it lasts all week. Actually, it'll be be good. It'll enable me to get all uh, Travis assignments completed and have a couple of nice days out in the field. It's um. It's not cold, but uh, and if you can get in the sun and out of any breeze, and that is, can you can get quite warm. But uh, it's actually it's beautiful. Yeah, it's very very good. So uh, very pleasing. We've got uh, a bit of a GPS demonstration done, and uh, students out uh, looks like they're getting their um, Travis assignments finished. So that's going to be good. Yes, all in all, a pretty good day, actually. Uh, one group of students stayed there till oh, after five o'clock, so uh, by the time I got home, it was dark, but uh, very uh, very encouraging to see them get out there and want to get stuff done, uh, which is good. So um, awesome, awesome work. So, uh, yes, coming home, well, I didn't want to mow the lawns in the dark, and I do have this test that I need to get out sometime this evening so it's about half past eight now so I should get on to it about nine-ish which will give me a good three or four hour run which uh, should be okay so uh, exercise and yard work today nil although I was out in the field all day and I did uh, make a you know a bit of an extra effort just to walk a few extra yards around the park and what have you. So I think I, I don't think I've gone wanting in the exercise department. Uh, yep, vlog 405, go, go, go. Uh, we'll have a bit of a question, question. And uh, yeah, where, what, who, hint two on 106. Uh, what is this? Um, and five hours of teaching, got the test done and comment, well, busy. Busy, busy, busy. Alrighty, so let's uh, let's go to today's challenge. And today's challenge is uh, a little bit of a question. So on the front uh, there on the, the vlog uh, thumbnail, I've got uh, the uh, Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds are go. Go, go, go. So uh, the Thunderbirds sort of worked for uh, an organisation, and uh, what I've got here is could be the logo for that organisation. <laughs> I say could be because, well, I'm not a hundred percent sure actually, because um, I did see some other logos. But uh, certainly, the, something like the well, this could be the logo for their organisation. So today's question is: What was the name of the the Thunderbirds organisation that they worked for, um, which was, uh, I think, set up by the father, um, an ex-astronaut. Uh, so uh, that's that's the question of the day. What's the thing? And then we're going to look at the Hall of Fame here today. And um, it's, um, yes, now, it was the question was, what causes winter? And I think by uh, popular sort of um, accolade, uh, WT's answer was uh, was right on the money there. Uh, and, uh, well, I'm going to uh, just go with the answer that I had in mind here, which was pretty much uh, what uh, WT uh, put forward. So... Uh, the planet tilts at 23 degrees 27 minutes, and uh, this causes parts of the Earth's surface to be closer this, to the Sun at various parts of its orbit. It is this variation that brings about the seasons. In winter, um, the northern hemisphere, well, that we'll talk about, or the southern hemisphere, is tilted away from the Sun and thus experiences colder temperatures. So... Uh, yeah, essentially uh, further away from the sun due to the tilt of the axis as the Earth uh, goes around the sun. So, uh, yeah, um, WT uh, covered that off in a couple of different ways. So, uh, yeah, thanks, WT, for explaining what causes winter. And, uh, yeah, you get the uh, get on the, uh, the Hall of Fame. So, um, oh, I think I might just uh, pop back pop back to here just for a moment um, 
Yes, yeah, so it's been a wonderful day, really. Beautiful weather. Um, students all performed well. The actual maths test actually uh, went quite well too, I feel. They sort of seemed to uh, get a few uh, students um, actually got it uh, finished in good time. So we'll just see what the results bring. So, yeah, well, I've got plenty of work to do, so I'm off to uh, do that. So thanks for your support. Thanks for your uh, commenting, liking and subscribing and all those things. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. And if you've got time, smash that like button.